You're like, Aaron, <laughs> look behind you. This is amazing. Oh! <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fun YouTube channel. What's happening, guys? Today is some El Camino action for you guys. The jet car, we gotta update you. We have so much to tell you about, but we're starting off our day up here in Kissimmee, Florida at TRZ Motorsports. If you remember, we have a TRZ Motorsports front K member on Leroy. Loved that thing, made a world of a difference on that car. And on the El Camino, pretty much everything is TRZ Motorsports, from the four link to the front control arms, things like that. So today we're actually checking out their shop because they're helping us out. We wanna come out, see their operation. And we're picking up our nine inch rear end housing for the El Camino today, which I hear is quite beautiful. So James and I just got here. We're gonna check it out, uh, get this rear end housing, and then we're heading to ProFab. All right, so we got Todd here from TRZ. Ooh, ooh, is this the one? It. Damn, holy crap. Damn, man, it's a sick shop. Look at this thing. That's My God. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> holy crap, man. This thing is a whole different level than I thought. Damn. You guys do this all in house, huh? Yep. Yep. Wow, man. That's incredible. So, we got to get the third member and then axles and this third thing's axles, pretty much brakes, ready to rip which i think you were getting on yep the i got brakes i got the brakes um they, pro Pab already has a control arm for it yes sir man this is sick wow you guys do awesome welding too how much does the same way uh, oh that's not bad at all it's a little bit beefy i think it's about 70 pounds 70 pounds yeah no it feels pretty light i mean it's dang got some billet mounts there yeah. 51 inches yeah it's pretty narrow you guys got some control arms and everything this is an operation man this is stuff ready to go here yeah some ladder bars for uh you know him uh kevin smith KSR. oh yeah ksr yeah, those are going over there ladder bars for the guys you guys know kevin from ksr anti roll bar one of our operator one or twin two Damn, man. Leroy needs an anti-roll bar really bad. Have you ever seen my sway bar? It's like bent along the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it probably kills you guys to uh, look at. We've some IRS ones. You can do that yeah. with some uh, high missile alignment. Yeah. Link so that they can do that a little bit. Yeah, we should. We'll have to dig something up. So what's the story? You guys make all these here too? Yes. Yeah, I'll show you the CNC area back there. Damn. Man, you guys do everything in house. Yeah, let's go on a little those, tour. The steering arms. You have a set of these. Yep, I got those on Leroy. Yep. So these are actually the control this arms we have on the Elko. Yep. And but we already have them. Yeah. No, no, no you got no, big stock see. spindles, so, right? We're yeah, we're stock spindles. Yep. Cool. Let's uh, let's run around. Sure. Check it out. Got some cars in here too. Are these just cars that you guys build stuff off of? Or? Uh, yeah. This is a friend that we're kind of doing just with Turbo LS deal in. Okay. Cool. Uh, this guy's from Detroit, Greg Powery. Yeah. yeah. This thing's sick. Three nineties in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, James. James kind of wants an F body. So, man, it's an operation. It's a bunch of jigs and yep, it's a jig, it's a welding table, welding table. Bench right here, our main fabricator. Welding. Man, I might have to get on the welder. I don't know if you've seen my work before. <laughs> got a bridge port or two. Hell yeah. Little, little bridge port. Yeah, we got a bridge port. Oh no, they're awesome, man. Plasma table is getting wired up now. Oh, hell yeah. I feel like I want a plasma table, but we don't have the use for one. But this is a brand new sucker, huh? Yeah, yeah, that's so what we're just getting it all wired up. Oh, yeah, very cool. Man, these are an operation here, too. Hell yeah. That's awesome that you guys cut everything in house, though. So. Yep. I mean, yeah. bring it all to one place. I think we're making some, uh, oh, yeah. Some uh, AMS 2000 mounts. <laughs> <laughs> these are sick, man. Out here working the lathe. Hell yeah. <laughs> you machine us a uh, billet LS real quick. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and whip that up. Buddy. Yeah, go ahead and whip it up. <laughs> you got it. Here you go, James. Grab your control arm. Oh, look at those. Damn. Look at all the anti roll bars and yeah, stuff. Take a couple of those. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're taking our new rear end housing, which is insane. We're throwing it in the bed of White Buffalo and we're heading to ProFab. Look at that thing. Look at this thing, man. This is a beast. Dude, this thing is insane. Hey, you ready for this? <laughs> this is nuts. Oh my gosh. Just walking in, look at the bars in the back of the car. Dude. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is all finished welded over here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy crap. Troy, where's the floor? Oh, that, we had to lose that. <laughs> the floor will be back, guys. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Holy crap. Whoa, dude, this is nuts from last time we were here. 
Oh, baby. So the seat's not mounted yet. We got to try this out today. We're going to get mounted up. Make sure we got the seat at the right angle for me. Damn, we even have the steering column in. Look at that. TRZ Motorsports mounts and stuff right there. Ooh, dude. Man, they must have had McFarlane Fab in here. Yeah, I heard they did. <laughs> Those welds are beautiful. Dude, this is so sick. Holy crap, man. Look at the floor. Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is just the the back of the funny car cage, and then Correct. we're gonna create the hoop once yeah, we know where I'll sit. Yeah, that goes down through here. Very similar to what's in the um, in Leroy. Leroy. Okay. But of course, inside the car in this case. Yes. Wow, man. This is the most beautiful freaking thing I have ever seen. Still got my storage containers down here, huh? Well, that might get lost when it's all said and done. Yeah, We're understandable. Be trimming that all out to yeah. make room for batteries and mm -hmm. other stuff that we can stash down underneath. Yeah, the car. that would be a good spot for batteries if yes. we keep them on board. Yeah. So are we gonna reuse the same floor? Or? There's a chance that we're gonna probably piece it back in. Um, if that's not an option, then we'll go with a, a uh, just what we call a tin floor, okay. which would basically be sheet metal panels that will fabricate and Sweet. be rolled. Dang, man. The nice thing about that too is if you look the height difference of where this bar sits in the floor was yeah. you can sit the seat yeah the floor was up higher i get four inches to give you the headroom yeah we need all that headroom well, and bro. that was another consideration when we decided to cut the floor out is a <laughs> it would make fabricating the cage a lot easier yeah and b headroom is a good thing <laughs> right you're not a short guy <laughs> for those of you who are new around here i've said it in the past but i'm actually six foot six we might all look kind of like regular height, but James is like 6'4", I'm 6'6", six, six, Cooper is over six foot. We're all pretty tall and headroom has always been a problem for me in cars. And that's a good reason why Leroy's cage is on the outside of the car. All right, let's see what else we got going here. Last time I think we did the update video, you guys saw the front K member, but they've obviously got these front bars in now. It's also, last time we were here, there was no engine in this thing. And James was up here, what was it, two weeks ago? And he actually installed the LS in here and it's got a front plate, a front motor plate and a mid plate in it. And it has a power glide case on it. So that Profab could properly mock up the bottom of the car and where the transmission mount was. And it even has our Holly manifolds on it so that they could, you know, do the mock up plate and start mocking everything up up front, making it fit how it's going to be permanently eventually. But, you know, obviously they're just in the beginning stages of some of the things up here. I like this firewall plate, you guys, man. It's pretty cool because it's pretty ugly firewall. This whole hole yeah. is a factory so hole. So that's a factory hole. Where all the AC comes through. They man. built a nice little plate for it. Dash bar is in. So Troy, all this comes out to be finish welded though around the top. Yeah, well the, the actual main hoop section is finish welded now. Yeah. But, but once we have, once all these bars are in and all the funny car bars are in, then this whole thing, we knock this uh, dash bar section out. Yeah. And this whole thing's gonna be able to lean forward enough oh. for us to get up there and I well, gotcha. finish well the rest of it. <laughs> so intake wise on the jet guys, remember how we talked about half of the windshield is gonna be cut off for the airflow to go into the jet? You can kind of see now how we have to curve the intake around the funny car hoop. We plan on cutting a hole in the floor to lower the jet down into the bed a little bit. Yep. But basically, this is going to be all cut out through here. Yep. And then we're going to obviously put tin of some sort <laughs> to, to connect this area. Yep. And of course, we'll have some kind of plating in through here to <laughs> smooth this area out for airflow. This is so crazy. I can't even handle it. This is so crazy, man. Let me get underneath this thing. Take a gander. Oh, yeah. Dude, Troy. This is nuts, man. Let me get in this thing. I want to feel it out. It's a Flintstone style wheel. At this point, yeah. That's how you stop and you just put your feet down. That's it. <laughs> yeah. it works every time. Whoa. <laughs> Let me get that. Oh, yes, man. You feel like you're in a... <laughs> Look behind you. This is amazing. Oh, <laughs> my rear view mirror is going to be useless. Wow, I actually have a lot of headroom. So there's some wood under my seat, so this can actually maybe even get a little I'm lower. thinking looking at you in there now, yeah. I might end up losing that. I might need to be lower just because my helmet is bigger. Sure. And maximizing space. Sure. Wow, so I'll have a wall here. But I mean, this is pretty much gonna be how it is. And then plus a floor to cover 
drive shaft and whatnot, but wow, this is incredible. Put your foot on that brake. <laughs> no, I'm getting my heart starting to race just sitting in this thing. Foot on the brake. Not bad, right? Oh yeah, there's no clutch. Yeah, that's nice. So my foot will be over here. Yeah, you're gonna, have to, get, you're gonna, gonna have to get used to just two pedals. This is the right way. This is the perfect distance back, and the steering wheel is in the perfect position. Are you sure? Yes. Height wise, absolutely. Length -wise. I could sit a little bit lower. That would be my only thing. So guys, to give you an idea of a few things that are gonna be different. I mean, right now it looks like there's a lot of bars, but I'm gonna have a hoop around me, and then there will be an X in the door. The column will end here and have an extension on it, so when I remove the steering wheel, it'll be easier for me to get in and out. I'll have a dash here, and then the controls for the transmission and the jet will be on my right side. So I'll have the gear lever for the power glide will probably be on the right side. The jet control will be on the left side because I won't really even have to shift it. It'll all be pneumatic, so once the car leaves off the trans brake, it'll shift itself. The jet will be controlled by my right hand. It all sounds complicated, but you know, when we start this project, we're going to really ease into things. So we'll get the LS engine running really good. Then we'll run the car on the jet only, feel that out. And we'll leave the jet on kind of, you know, maybe a lower setting perhaps to start out and kind of dial everything in, you know, because that first run, when we have the LS engine and the jet engine running at the same time, I mean, that's going to be crazy. No one's really ever done this before. So we're pioneering something that is... Crazy. Obviously it's really going to be stepping stones the whole way. It's going to start be level beginner stones. by the end of it. I can't believe I'm even cool. sitting in this thing with these bars. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. I mean, obviously you guys can tell that we're not cutting any corners on this project. You know, some of our other cars, you know, we throw them together and go out and let it rip. This car is no joke. I mean, we're talking fire suppression. We're talking everything done to spec all the way no corners cut because this car has the potential to be extremely fast and it will probably be extremely fast so it's scary to think about and i mean even i'm afraid of this thing at this point but we're going to be extremely safe about how we go about it a lot of people have been commenting that they're worried about this project and uh just know that no matter what happens when we get out there if something's not right, we're not gonna make a pass. Like we're gonna take precautions to a whole new level. We're talking 20 layer racing suits, full fire gear. I mean, this is this is gonna be a totally different ball game, but in a way it's gonna be so fun to pioneer a path that no one's ever been down. And that's what we wanna do is, you know, try something new, you know what I'm saying? Now this cage is gonna be started at 25.3, which is good for what, 650 in the quarter? I believe so at the weight. Yeah, at the weight that it is. Yeah. And we, we shot high in the weight for that. That's another reason why we uh, took the floor out was um, because chances are we're going to go back in with just the tin this floor, thing yeah. light, which is going to be a lot lighter than the, than the factory sheet field. metal. Yeah. Oh, man. So we're, we're doing what we can to shave weight wherever we can, trying to uh, make it faster. Basically <laughs> make it faster and to compensate for and the safer, added weight. And safer too. Yeah. Lighter and safer. We're looking to be able to have an onboard system to run the jet engine uh, where a lot of people use a cart yeah. or, or a golf cart or what have yeah. you. Support vehicle. It's so got all the batteries. There's a number of things that we're doing that have never been done before, let alone an LS engine and a jet car or a gas engine <laughs> for that matter. It's a hybrid. It's, it is a hybrid. It's on the, this is basically a Prius. It, true. If you think about it. On the wrong end of the scale. <laughs> on, Could on be on the same side of the scale. scale. So this is without the wood underneath. This is probably how we'll do the seat, huh? I mean, that's that's so low. <laughs> that's how you want to be. You that's how be I want to be, though. Car. I guess. Damn. This is official right here. <laughs> and your feet fit good on the feet pedals. Feet fit good. Yeah. I mean, my legs are wanna, almost straight. You, you want to be able to put flat foot to the firewall. Yeah. Like behind yeah. the pedals. I can do that. These wheel tubs are out of a C10. Yeah. A, hell yeah. <laughs> Your mini truck and now. Dang, man. They feel good though, right? Yeah, that is sick. Yeah, well, with the ride height you guys are playing on, we're going to need all the clearance. Dude, it looks so good when it's dumped like that, though. Ooh. All right, guys. So now that we've seen the front half of the car, you know, the normal cage stuff that you see in the LS engine, back here to the jet, pretty much the next step is going to be putting that rear end housing in, putting the car on its actual own suspension and getting it to a normal ride height and then cutting out the floor, making the jet sit where it's normally going to sit, and then figuring out that one degree angle down that Larson was telling us we're gonna need, 
And then the Larson Motorsports guys are actually gonna fly back in, make sure that we have everything engineered correctly as far as mounting the, the jet goes, because you know, that could be important for yeah. doing jet things. I've never done that before, so it <laughs> might be a good idea to exactly. have someone who has. So we will have the professionals come back as far as the jet goes when it is time to mount up the jet, but everything is moving along as quickly as it can. The old El Camino will be here at ProFab for probably at least, you know, another month or two at least. So, but everyone's gotta be patient. You guys know this takes time. Like I said, we're not cutting any corners on this project. This is a pretty serious race car, as you can tell. And it's gonna be a really, really awesome, cool project for us to take around to events. I mean, freaking melt stuff. It's not all about going fast with this thing. It's also about the show. and melting whatever we want freaking putting on shows think about think freaking about the first time it goes to the track and we get to burn a I demo just, car yeah we can burn demo cars think about little kids seeing this thing like they're gonna love it it's gonna get people hooked so i'm really excited and i just want to have fun with it you guys know we're all about investing in the channel and this is a this is a, one of our bigger builds for sure and the guys at profile we trust them with everything they're doing an amazing job but for now guys thanks for watching do it for dale we will freaking see you later